As soon as I stepped on this campus, I fell in love. I walked onto the quad. It was the most beautiful campus I'd seen. There was just something that drew me specifically to it. And it was the only university that I visited that I knew if I get in, then I'm definitely going here. My name is Matthew Berger. I'm from Johannesburg, South Africa. So I grew up in South Africa and I did my whole first education all the way up until high school in South Africa. And then I always knew growing up that I wanted to make my way um, to the States for college. It was just something I always wanted to do. My dad's actually originally from Georgia and he made his way to Africa in about 1989 or so. And his main intent was to come fossil hunting for hominid fossils. Hominid fossils are some of the rarest sought after objects on earth. They're more rare than diamonds, gold, any of that, because there's very few that exist. Then in around 2008, he stumbled across an antelope fossil in a rock leading up to this almost hole in the ground. We returned to the site about two weeks after that. It was myself, his colleague Job Kibbe, and our dog Tao. We got to this hole in the ground and my dad said, okay, Mac, go look for fossils. And I was nine at the time, and so I ran off following my dog Tao out into the wilderness, as I would usually do, as I ran off the site almost directly away from the cave. I tripped over log in the middle of this animal path and as I kind of got up, dusted myself off, cleaned myself off, I noticed there was a little fossil sticking out of a rock just sitting next to the path. And when I turned it over a bit, there was the clavicle sticking out, but when I saw it, I didn't know it was a clavicle. So I called my dad over. He was very reluctant to come over to me because he knew exactly what I'd found already. It was an antelope fossil, because that's all you ever find. He came towards me. He was like, um, it's a clavicle of a hominid. And I was like, Whoa. This uh, discovery then turned into the largest hominid discovery in history. It had multiple skeletons come out of it. It turned out to be a new species of hominid called Australopithecus sediba. It made the cover of almost every newspaper in the world, magazine, front cover of New York Times, science, everything you could think of, it was that big. And it was just amazing to have been the first person to actually find a fossil that led to such a big discovery. Another thing I loved about the University of Alabama was the fact that the anthropology department, although not so focused in um, hominid fossils and really old fossils, they do have a very strong archaeology program and um, actually I was fortunate enough on my visit in 2016 to go to the Moundville site, which is just outside of Tuscaloosa, and there is a bunch of Native American mounds and they have a huge archaeological dig happening there where hundreds of Native American artifacts are coming out. And so the anthropology department here has amazing departments along with amazing professors and a very strong curriculum. I do believe that what I have already done has made a significant contribution, but that doesn't mean I'm gonna stop what I'm doing. I'm still gonna go out there, explore. I'm gonna to continue to push people to explore, push younger kids to get into exploration because I mean, if my discovery shows anything, you don't have to be an adult to discover. What I would say is just get out there and explore.